Today I'm making clay earrings. So I got some air dry clay, which I like because you don't need to bake it in an oven. And it's really lightweight, which I thought would be great for making earrings. I also got some eye pins to attach the earring hooks to. Some clay cutters. I also prepared a bowl of water to smooth out any bumps or cracks in the clay. So let's get started. This brand is called Creative Paper Clay. I've used it a couple of times and I was pretty happy with how it turned out. To reseal and use it later, you can put it in an airtight Ziploc bag to make sure the clay doesn't dry out. The first thing I'm doing is kneading the clay, almost like it's dough, just to get it to a nice smooth consistency. Now that it's pretty smooth and malleable, I'm flattening it out to a little less than a centimeter thick, and then just smoothing it out with my finger. I didn't invest in a rolling pin or any clay tools, so I'm just using a Posca marker. So now I'm going in with a clay cutter. I couldn't find a rectangular one, so I'm using a square cutter to cut out squares first and then slicing off one edge just a little bit to make it into the rectangular shape that I want. One thing to keep in mind I've learned from my trial runs is that air dry clay shrinks to I'd say 80 or 90% of the original size. So I'm cutting out the shapes just a little bit bigger and thicker than what I want the final result to be. With the leftover clay, I don't have enough to make another set, so I'm just gonna make a little heart shape. And since there's only one, maybe this will be a pendant. After the shapes are cut out, I'm just using a little bit of water to smooth out the surfaces and the edges. I saw this tip somewhere and it works really well. I realized that working with clay is super therapeutic. I absolutely love working with my hands. And unlike embroidery, I'm not at the risk of stabbing myself in the finger. So while the clay is still wet, I need to insert the eye pins. These are a little bit long, so I am cutting them in about half just to make sure that they don't stick out on the other end of the earring. What I'm doing is inserting the pin from the top and pushing it down until the loop is about halfway covered in the clay. That way it stays nice and secure when the clay shrinks and dries. And that's all of them. They look so cute and definitely handmade. I can't wait for them to dry so I can paint them. It's been about 16 hours. This clay turns white when it dries. So as you can see, it's still a little bit grayish, which means it needs to dry more. It also curves up a little bit into a concave shape while it dries. So I'm just gonna flip them around to make sure that they turn out flat. Now that the pieces are completely dry, I'm going to sand them to make them smoother. The sandpaper I'm using has a grit of 1500, which is probably way more than enough. I did actually buy a Dremel, which is this rotary tool, but I haven't quite figured out how to best use it, so I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way. Which is fine, it's mostly just a pain in the ass.
To get a clean base layer, I'm just painting each of the pieces white first. I don't know how necessary this will be, but I do want the colors to come out even and also nice and bright. It's finally time to paint, yay! I have these acrylic paints and I also got a giant pack of Posca markers. The ones I have are extra fine, uh, so hopefully that'll allow me to make super precise lines on these tiny earrings, but we'll see how that goes. I'm starting off painting the base color first, then once that's dry, adding in detailing with the Posca markers. I've seen so many people use them, so I had to try them myself. And after using them, I'm honestly so obsessed. They're super fun and pretty easy to use for the most part. I'm attempting to draw really tiny, what are supposed to be Cheerios. And as long as I can control the paint flow that comes out, I can draw some pretty fine lines. Though I definitely struggled a little bit with the lettering, <laughs> as you can see here, but I tried my best to make it work.
to protect the paint, I'm adding a couple layers of gloss varnish, which will also give it a slight shine. It also makes the color just a little bit brighter and gives it that extra pop. For the final step, I'm attaching them to earring hooks. You could also turn them into necklaces, pins, magnets. This definitely won't be my last time working with clay, so let me know if you have any other ideas for what I should try next. There's honestly a super long list of things that I want to try, and I hope eventually I'll be able to get through them, but I'm also just curious to hear your ideas, if there are any other art trends or mediums that I should try. And that's it. I'm super happy with how they turned out. I can't wait to try some other designs that I have in mind, and maybe I'll share those as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.